Hello everyone, welcome to Codis Camp. We are at 11th day of decimal lead code challenge and the problem we are going to cover in this video is nth magical number. So the input given here is three integer value n, a and b and a positive number is magical if it is divisible by either a or b. So not requiredly a and b, it is a or b. And we have to return the nth magical number for given a and b. And we have to return with modulo 10 power 9 plus 7 since the values may be large. So this is under hard category problem, but it is an interesting mathematical problem. If you understand number theory really well, then you can find it not so hard and you can crack it really easy. So let's understand this with an example. So here is the given example in the problem statement. Given A and B are 2 and 3, we have to return the seventh magical number. So let's start from uh, integer 1. So integer 1 is not divisible by both 2 and 3. So this cannot be a magical number. So integer 2 is divisible by 2. So as per the problem statement, if any number is divisible by A or B, then it is a magical number. So we have found our first magical number in the integer series, which is 2. So the next number is 3. So 3 is also a magical number, which is divisible by 3. So next is 4. 4 is also a magical number divisible by 2. And next number is 5. 5 cannot be divisible both by 2 as well as 3. So next number is 6. 6 can be divisible by both 2 as well as 3. And 7 cannot be divisible by both the numbers. 8 can be divisible by 2. 9 can be divisible by 3. 10 can be divisible by 2 and goes on. So now let's count how many magical numbers we have got. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have got seven magical numbers where 10 is the seventh magical number in the series and we have to return this as our output. So how are we going to approach this problem? So the main solution would be iterating from 1 till the uh, maximum value given in the problem statement and check whether it is divisible by either of these numbers or not and if it is divisible then uh, we have to make a counter that counts how, which number it is in the series and when the counter matches the given number n then that is the number we have to return as our output but obviously this is going to time limit exceed as they have said the values would be higher and asked us to return the values in modulo and the maximum value would go greater than 10 e power 7 plus 9 we have to figure out a better way or better approach that solves this problem in an optimal time so let's get into some number theory formulas to get this done in an easier way. So consider a random number x exists. So we have to find the number of magical numbers from the limit 1 to x. y1 is the lower limit and consider x is the maximum limit we have got. So how do you find that how, there are uh, how many number of magical numbers between 1 and x given only divisor is a. So x by a would actually give you the value of number of magical numbers. How? For example, the x is equal to 20 and from 1 to 20, how many number of magical numbers are there if a is equal to 2? So, it is said that the number is magical if it is divisible by a given number. So, in this case, what are the numbers which are uh, exist between 1 to 20, which are 2, 4, 6, 8, till 20. So, there are in total 10 numbers. How would we get it? 20 by 2 would actually give you the number 10, which means there are 10 numbers within 1 to 20 that exist that are magical. So in short, you can represent this in a form of formula. Let's consider function of A is the number of magical numbers between the limit 1 to x. Then we can find it using x by A. So x is the maximum limit of the number and A is the given divisor. So you can represent this in form of uh, floor of x by A because all the time the x cannot be divisible by A. So this is, you can consider this as a whole number or the integral part of this division. And same goes with f of B. If a given divisor is B, then in that case, the number of magical numbers between 1 to x can be found by doing this formula x by B. So consider the given number is 10 and a and b are 2 and 3. So let us write the number of numbers uh, that are divisible by a and b. So let's first consider a, a is equal to 2. So what are the numbers exist from 1 to 10 which are magical? So which are 2, 
4, 6, 8 and 10, 10 into the of 10. So in this case, we have 5 numbers. So you can easily find this by using the formula x by 8. Here x is 10. So 10 by 2 would actually give you 5 and there are 5 numbers which are magical. Same way, write down the formula, uh, according to the formula, when d is equal to 3, 10 by 3 or the whole part of 10 by 3 would give you 3, then there must be 3 magical numbers from 1 to 10. So those are 3, 6, 9. And we don't have any more numbers, 10 is not divisible by 9. So in this case, you have 5 numbers and 3 numbers which are magical from 1 to 10 considering A and B are divisors. But in this case, if you see, 6 is a repetitive number between uh, the series in A and series in B, which means the numbers can be duplicated. So in this case, if you want to find the magical numbers which satisfy both A and B, then you have to do x by A plus x by B minus the common numbers between x by A and x by B. So how do you find the common numbers? x by LCM of a comma b. So LCM is the least common multiplication number of a comma b and that by doing x by LCM of a comma b you can tell the number of uh, common magical numbers between a and b. So you can uh, subtract that set from this total then you would get the number of magical numbers between a comma b. So consider the same example. So LCM of 2 comma 3 is actually 6. So here our x is 10 and 10 by 6 will actually give you 1. So here x by a is 5 and x by b is 3 and x by lcm of a comma b is 1. x by lcm of a comma b is 1. So in total 8 minus 1 would give you 7 total magical numbers between 1 to 10. So that is what we have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 are the 7 magical numbers between 1 to 10. So this is how you find it. So now what we have found from this formula is considering given x is 10, we have found which magical number is 10. That is 7th magical number is 10. So we can conclude if we give some random number x, let's say 20 or 30 or whatever is it, by using this formula, we can easily find which position it holds in the magical number series. For example, seventh position is the uh, tenth, I mean, 10 is the seventh magical number for given A and B. So now we have found that to find a number's magical position, we can use this formula and find it. So how are we going to use this formula to solve this problem? Consider we have our lower limit to upper limit. Upper limit is the maximum uh, number possible answer this problem would have. So from 1 to upper limit, we are going to iterate the values. And for each value, we are going to check its position. So for example, if uh, number 1, 2, 3 goes like this and we iterate, do the formula for number 4 and we find uh, if the 4 is the second magical number, or third magical number in the series. Then we compare what is the given n. Given n is 7, so we need to move extra and we check the next number, next number, till we reach the seventh magical number. And once we reach the seventh magical number, we return that value as our output. So before getting into optimizing this problem, we have two questions here. So what would be the upper limit value that is the maximum value we could iterate the loop with and how do we find LCM of A comma B. So these are uh, so solving LCM of A comma B is another sub problem we'll get into it at the last but what would be the upper limit of this problem. So this would be n into minimum of A comma B. So your maximum value or the magical number would not exit exceed n into any value a comma b because the maximum uh, definitely if uh, the magical number exists then it would not cross the multiplication of these two numbers so that is how we fix the upper value that is the upper limit would go like n into minimum of a comma b 
So we have found this. Let's get into the LCM part later. So other than this, if we find the logic, then again we are going to iterate it from 1 to uh, the upper limit. Then there is no point in optimizing the previous naive approach. Then how are we going to do it? As usual, we know the lower limit and the upper limit. All we know is our solution is there somewhere between this limit. Then the straight away, we can go for a binary search solution. So how are we going to approach this with binary search? We set lower bound is equal to 1 and upper bound is equal to n into min of a comma b. And we are going to calculate the mid value that is between lo lower bound and upper bound or left or left to right. And once we find the mid value, we are going to send that value. Here our mid value is going to be our x. So once you uh, find our mid value, we are going to calculate which position the mid value holds in the magical series. If suppose the mid value we sent has uh, 8 as its magical number then we need only 7. So in this case we shift our upper limit to 8 and we start searching from uh, the mid value minus 1 from L. If not if we found the magical number is 5 and we need 7 which is greater than 5 which means we set the lower limit to mid plus 1 to and start our searching process till the higher value. So hope you're understanding this uh, basic binary search logic. We have done so many problems by using this logic, so I'm not getting deeper into it. So now we are left with only one question, which is how do we calculate LCM of A comma B? So there is a mathematical formula which says A into B is equal to LCM of A comma B into GCD of A comma B. GCD is uh, greater common divisor of a comma b if suppose the given numbers are a is equal to 153 and b is equal to 81 then the uh, the greater common divisor between 153 and 81 is 9 so multiplying it with lcm of 153 and 81 would give you multiplication of these two numbers so now this formula can be used for us to find our lcm so now if we are going to find lcm of a comma b then it would be easier for us to do a cross b because the values are readily available and gcd of a comma b so now again the question rises how do we find gcd of a comma b so hope you are understanding what is a greater greatest common divisor so if not just do a little research in google so we are going to it is a separate small sub problem uh, that would solve uh, gcd of a comma b that would help us to arrive at a solution so we can get directly get into code, but giving you a very small solution for how do we solve a comma GCD of a comma b would help. So now getting into this part of GCD, every time a number uh, get its reminder and do the division again. So for example, if we do 153 reminder divisible by 81, and the reminder would be 72. So what it does is again 81 comes into the bigger number and 81 divided by 72 would give you 9 and now 72 comes as a bigger number and 72 divided by 9 would actually give you the reminder of 0 so until it becomes 0 it will do the division and take the reminder and the final reminder would be the GCD of these two numbers so this is how we are going to uh, calculate the GCD and it's pretty easy uh, you can either go for a recursive small problem or a uh, simple while loop to find this value. So hope you are understanding the overall logic of this problem. So before getting into the code, this is going to run in uh, n cross minimum of a comma b logarithm of this value because this is the maximum value we are going to iterate our program with from the lower limit and since we are using the binary search every time it will be divided to half so it is going to run in big o of log of n cross minimum of a comma b so hope you're understanding all the logic let's dive into the code now so yes before getting started into the main problem let me write a small method to calculate our gcd So yes, I have used the recursive method to calculate the GCD. You can go for iterative approach if you like. That's not 
so much related into this problem. So we have to return the result in form of mod. So I'm declaring my mod value. So yes, as I said, we are going to calculate the LCM by multiplication of these two numbers divided by GCD of these two numbers. So yes, we got now the LCM of A comma B. So as I said, we are going to declare our left and uh, lower and higher limit in our uh, binary search. So I set the lower limit and higher limit for our binary search. So we are going to loop it. So now here comes the formula part we have discussed in the whole video, which is the mid value is the x we have calculated. So we are going to check if x by a plus x by b minus x by LCM of a comma b, so which is what we have calculated at the very beginning. So we have calculated this complete value and if the value is less than given n, which means we have to search for our nth magical number after mid. So we have to set our low is equal to mid plus one. If that's not the case, we have found a higher number then we can minimize our search within a lower limit. So our high is equal to mid. So yes, this is it. Finally, we'd be returning our left value uh, as our, our low value as our output because uh, we have discussed enough about the binary search patterns and the code pattern. It, it is very similar code pattern we have already used in our binary search series videos. So hope that helps now. And we have to return our low value modulo. Yes, this is it. Let's give it a try. Let's submit. Oh yes, our solution has been accepted and it runs 100% faster than the other solution. I'm so happy about it. Hope I made some sense in this video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.